Hello, I'm Nalene Masto and welcome to the Liberty A-League Highlight Show. After a week-long international break, Round 7 kicks off with a clash between Western Sydney Wanderers and Central Coast Mariners. Robbie Hooker's side head into the contest with plenty of confidence, having picked up a 2-0 win over last year's grand finalist, Western United. The Wanderers have the opportunity to score multiple goals in three straight matches for the first time since December 2016. Meanwhile, Central Coast Mariners will be hoping to bounce back from a 2-1 loss to Melbourne victory. Your commentators for this game are Leah Blaney and Campbell Johnson. Here's Caspers. Intercepted by Annabelle Martin. Bartawia cuts inside, shooting now, just dragged wide. And Sham Karmas perhaps had it covered, but a good effort from Roller Bartawia. Here's Bartawia driving forward, gets past a pack of Wanderers players and is palmed away by Sham Karmas, who does oh so well, as did Roller Bartawia. One of their best opportunities of the game. Another one now for the Mariners towards that near post and the back post for Annalise Rasmussen. And the open goal goes begging. McComiskey driving out of defence. Good ball in behind for Kush LaRue. Has options in the middle. Delivers towards that back post and they open the scoring. Sophie Harding with her fourth goal. In her last three games, it just had to be Sophie Harding. Her purple patch continues. As Beth Gordon and Olivia Price standing over it. Price to deliver towards that near post, punched away by Jumont. They'll get a second bite though. Lifted high, Jumont standing over it. It's an own goal. Turned in by Taryn King. And that goal right before the break has completely turned this fixture around. The Wanderers double their advantage. Here is Galich on target and a brilliant save from Sham Karmas. That's exactly what she was after, Bianca Galich. But Sham Karmas equal to it. Oh, and just heading it back into the path of Holly Caspers now, Sophie Harding! It's her fifth in her last three. She is on fire. Incredible. She makes it three for her side. And her purple patch is on. Into the box now, to the feet of Trimus. Mariners more direct now as the game Runs out of time. Here's Harding looking for her third. Sophie Harding saved by Jumont, denying the hat trick. Still alive though for the Wanderers. And it'll all be directed towards number nine, I'm sure. And they can't make an opportunity there. The Wanderers make it back to back wins with Sophie Harding leading the charge, having scored three goals in her last five matches. A top of the table contest between Melbourne City and Perth Glory is the headlining act of the round, as Dario Vidasic's side put their six match unbeaten record on the line. In fact, City are the only undefeated team remaining in the Liberty A League and are the highest scoring side with 15 goals. The visitors will be hoping to avoid two consecutive defeats in the competition for the first time since January. And Millie Farrow is expected to play a key role as she heads into the match with the highest assist tally. Your commentator for this one is Campbell Johnson. Farrow. Sakalis. Here's Dalton winding up from range and palmed over the bar by Lissy Ann Prue. A great effort from Isabel Dalton. Myers. McKenna lifting it in against her former side and Wilkinson turns it in with ease. The tall timber rises above the pack and heads it home to give the league leaders the advantage. Great ball inside for Hughes. 
First touch lets her down. Lowry going down to Millie Farrow, going around Lissy and Prue and leveling it for the Perth glory. The England Youth International makes it two for the season. And it's just the tonic her side needed. They draw level. Dalton, that's a clever ball for Anton. Turns the 16-year-old Myers. Anton, the New Zealand international, back in the box now for Millie Farrow, who gets her second. Easy as you like. Her third of the season, her sixth goal involvement, and it's exactly what the doctor ordered for Perth Glory. Here's Aquino. Slightly scuffed clearance, finds its way to Daniela Galic and eventually Amina Rekic, who strikes it with some force. Here's Wilkinson. Is this the wriggle on they need? Garlic, such a special player. Millie Farrow bursting forward, manages to get it on the break. Millie Farrow on a hat trick. Can she get it? Rounds through. And Millie Farrow take a bow. The hat trick hero for Perth Glory. Her fourth of the season. And they pile on, and why not? Keeping it in play. Look at it go down. The byline does very well, turned. Goal bound by Anna Wilkinson. And Morgan Aquino, very happy to hang on. Was very well worked. This ball right there by Amina Ekic, showing her class. Leah Davidson, his Otto. The American send a half out wide for Garlic. Continues her run. Here's Otto. In for Ekic. The two American born players linking up in the strike from Ekic. Goal bound. And Morgan Aquino hangs on. A statement win from Glory, who ends City's unbeaten run, and what a moment for Farrow to score her first A-Legs hat-trick, taking her total gold contributions this season to seven. Adelaide United are not only hunting for their first win of the season, but also their first victory in the competition since March. The Reds have struggled to keep hold of leads, having dropped seven points from winning positions in the Liberty A-League. In contrast, Western United have been known to conjure up comebacks, claiming the most points from losing positions with four. This match marks the beginning of Cat Smith's reign at Western after replacing Mark Torcaso as head coach following his resignation. The former Western Sydney Wanderers boss will be hoping her side find some consistency with seven points claimed from a possible 18 so far. Riley Dobson and Georgia Radjic are calling the action. Taranto with the ball, lays it low, an opportunity, comes begging, and it's Ad Adriana Taranto assisted by her sister Melissa, and Western United, they take the lead in a very highly contested affair. Perfectly placed, neither knows who to go for the ball, and you've got Taranto coming in, beating her defender, and just gently placing that home. Taranto holds up the play, and Papadopoulos looks to square a ball in, an opportunity for Hannah Keane. And Walters in the end pushes it out wide, but what a start to the second half. Oh, we love the intensity and basically the light that this Western United have brought. Only one corner for the game. Legazzo now playing it low to embrace Ma. Ma curling it in. Beautiful delivery. Scrum on the box. Follow up here from Legazzo. In the end, it will be another corner off. Nanako Sasaki, but exciting play from Western. Again, pushing towards goal each time. Blake through the centre, headed on Dorba to Mariah Lee on the edge of the box and Dorba once more and a really crucial hand to it from Hilary Beal. The goalkeeper of the year last season once more just denying Adelaide a chance at goal. You can see the smile on her face after that save. Corner taken quickly and short 
by Adelaide Janczewski deep into the box, over the top. But unfortunately hits the top of the net rather than goes under the bar. And that was a stunning opportunity for Alatonkin, the centre back, Lagazo. Delivery right to the centre of the box, headed away, Janczewski clears. Papadopoulos trying to bring it right back into dangerous play. Savisky. Offs to go out wide again. The run in, you can see Keane looking for that ball over the top and Taranto. And it's a second goal for Adriana Taranto. She <laughs> gets her brace and Western United are now 2 0 up. If we look at this ball, perfectly lifted and she's just slotted at home. You look at the runs by Hannah Keane. And she's able to drag several players, and we've got once again a Taranto assist as well. Annalie Grove, 40 appearances, an opportunity now for Dorba. Goes wide, able to beat Hillary Beale. And just like that, Adelaide United are back into this game. We did say that we needed Adelaide to step up, and they needed to get a goal to make this game come back into contention, and that was well taken by Dorba. The relentless pressure never stops from this Western United team. Richards now running onto the ball, and time and space in front of Hannah Keane. The flag stays down, and Hannah Keane, she gets her goal. And just like that, in the stoppage time of this game, like we saw last year, Western United score once more. And just like that, 3-1 is the final score. Smith couldn't have asked for a better start to her tenure at Western, thanks to a brace from Adriana Taranto and a goal from Hannah Kane. Join us after the break to watch all the Sunday action unfold. Welcome back to the Liberty A-League Highlight Show. The first match to kick off the Sunday action takes us to the Hunter as Sydney FC face Newcastle Jets in a bid to bounce back from their 3-2 defeat to Melbourne victory. The return of Kirsty Fenton and Matilda's World Cup hero Courtney Vine is sure to provide a boost to the Sky Blues, who will be looking to put together a consistent run of form. Standing in their way is the Jets who sealed a hard-fought 4-3 win over Canberra United to snap a four-match winless run. Now they'll have their sights set on back-to-back -back victories in the Liberty A-League for the first time since February 2019. The game marks Emily Van Egmont's penultimate match for the Jets in her four-game stint, while new recruit Serena Bolden will be looking to get on the score sheet once more after bagging a brace on her debut for the club. Teresa Pelias and Campbell Johnson are your commentators for this one. Athletic effort from her too. Made sure it was in there. Here's Abini. Edge of the box, taking a strike. It's a good hit from Princess Abini. Doesn't hit the target, though. Nice shape to it. Well, that's better there from the Sydney FC captain. Three of her last four she'd given away. And she's the type of player, it's too much experience to be giving the ball away. Getting over the top there. It's back on her feet and can continue play. Bit of a wrestle between Aideen Keane and Chico. Keane comes out on top. AD Keane! Flashing it wide of the target. And a golden opportunity for Sydney FC. And good officiating too, I must say. Here's Newcastle, Cass Davis, Van Egmond. Can she have a moment of magic? Finds Cass Davis with the strike. And just caught the inside of it. Coming up against one of her former sides as well. Former Newcastle Jet. That's a great ball in behind. Fiona Worth bearing down on goal. A crucial intervention from Tash Pryor. That is brilliant to thwart the attack of Fiona Worth. So much football. Here's Connors on the break for Sydney FC. Shea Connors, the substitute blocked by her compatriot, Izzy Nino. Great save from Izzy Nino. Casper's not looking out of place in this game. That's a great turn by Vine. Looking for that early ball through for Shea Connors. Can she go around Nino? Two bodies in the way. Shea Connors off the line from Tash Pryor. Heading it away right where she needed to be. Absolutely perfect. 
Nino clearing. Not too effectively, though. Here's a beanie. It's given away by the Jets and followed up by Courtney Vine, the World Cup star. With her first goal of the season. And what time to do so. Taps it home from close range. And it was delivered by the goalkeeping error. Well, it's not their first poor clearance. They've had a few warnings about poor clearances in this half. And on this one, Sydney FC punished. None other than Courtney Vine. In her first Liberty A-Leg match since round two, Matilda's World Cup hero Courtney Vine scores on her injury return to seal a much-needed win for Sydney FC. Wellington Phoenix will be looking to continue their resurgence under poor Temple in their matchup against Melbourne Victory, who were just two points behind in fourth place. The Knicks return to winning ways with a 2-1 win over Perth Glory before the international break. However, there have been some changes to the squad following the departure of Chloe Knott and the absence of Marissa Vandermeer, who is out with an ACL injury. As for Victory, they're enjoying a four-match unbeaten run, and that's largely thanks to Rachel Lowe, who has directly been involved in five goals in her last four Liberty A-League matches. Anna Green and Jason Pine are on commentary. Crowd start to find their voice as Victory look to mount another attack. Here is Betty Goat again. She's standing out early, and a header flash is just wide for Melbourne Victory. Terrific chance, a really, really good chance for Lowe to add to her mounting goal tally. Oh, Croston again, half away. Still there for Melbourne Victory, and into the breadbasket of Riley Foster. That was from Aquino that time. Pretty heavy, heavily populated six-yard area for Go to aim the ball towards, which she does. A little flick into the back post. And they're ahead, ah, Melbourne victory. Set piece taken brilliantly by Beattie Goad. They head it towards the far post, defeated Foster. And into the far corner it went, and victory lead. Just going to pick up who got the final touch. Once again, it's a six-yard box, which is very clogged. Breslin. Plenty of air on that one towards the back. Headed back across goal by Speckmeyer. And in she goes. And an equaliser has arrived in the form of Kate Taylor. Well, everybody seemed to stop. I think they thought it had gone behind Melbourne victory. And they're protesting about that. Speckmeyer headed it back across goal. And from just about on the goal line, Kate Taylor could not miss. And Kate Taylor, her third A-League women's goal. Wellington starting to take a bit of advantage of the wind at their backs here. Here's Kelly Brown. She might not have a shot and does. Oh, and gets the frame of the goal and then hit it in by Emma Main. And Wellington from 1-0 down at 2-1 ahead. Emma Main has scored from close range, but a thunderbolt from Kelly Brown in the build-up. All action here in Bodidoa. Another one into the penalty area for Foster to deal with, and she hasn't dealt with it. Aquino's gone round her and finds the back of the net. Excellent finish from Korea Aquino. She scores in back to back matches for Melbourne Victory, nicking it past Riley Foster, and then from a fairly challenging angle, finding a finish into the far corner. And all of a sudden, we're back to 2 2 in Potidua. Nice pass from Fraser to Wynnum. Moving to space from her, and a ball into the pass of Speckmeyer. Mariana Speckmeyer is one on one and can't find the target. Terrific ball into her path, and Mariana Speckmeyer bearing down on goal but couldn't find the finish. After a fiery first half, it ends all square in Wellington. Victory extend their unbeaten run to five matches, while the Knicks continue to show why they're contenders this season. Canberra United head into their fixture against Brisbane Raw with the better head-to-head -head record, undefeated in their last five Liberty A-League meetings. Negos Popovic's side have proven to be an attacking threat this season, with a rate of 2.5 goals per game, the joint highest in the competition. 
Star player Vesna Milivojevic will be one to watch as she's been involved in 10 goals in her last six matches. The Raw, meanwhile, are winless in their last four games, and while their defence has remained sturdy, Alex Smith will be hoping his side's fortunes in front of goal change as they possess the equal second lowest attacking record in the league with just six goals scored. Georgia Radzic is on commentary for this match. The two captains battling against each other. Ilyoski down the line, and it finds their player. Vesna Milivojevic is there, and Vesna Milivojevic has opened the scoring her first goal against Brisbane Roar, and just like that, Kibra have opened their lead. Flannery, bring it down, cross into Milivojevic, and Milivojevic has a brace. The Serbian international. Oh, what a run that she's on at the moment. And in just the opening 17 minutes, Canberra are now up 2-0. Now yeah, asking for support in the run. Here comes Christopherson. Christopherson with a shot, and it's a goal. Sophia Christopherson. Her maiden A-League women goal. In her 13th appearance in the league, the number 13 for Canberra, she's on the scoreboard. And Michelle Heyman getting us underway. The Queen. And the challenge for Milivojevic, so strong physically. Off showing of technical skills, the sneaky back heel, Christopherson, palmed away by Silkowitz, and then Stanage bloody. And within the opening minute of the half, Canberra have added another to the board. And another debut Liberty A-League goal, this time for Mary Stanich Floody. New coach Alex Smith looking for his first win. Brisbane started off with two wins and Mia Corbin dispossesses McKenzie and Sean Fryer. A crucial goal for Brisbane. Potential for the best comeback in Liberty A-League history to begin. Sean Fryer gets her first goal of the season. Heyman using a smart to keep it in play. Releases the ball. Milivojevic, Silkowitz on the run. Trying to get back to her goal. Milivojevic. Showing up a technical ability, Milivojevic, and that she has her hat trick. Vesna Milivojevic, the legend that she is. And Canberra are up in this game 5 1. Vesna Milivojevic drops a goal scoring masterclass, bagging the first hat trick of her senior career. But the elation is met with immediate injury fears after the forward limped off with a knee injury. That concludes an action-packed round seven of the Liberty A-League. See you next time.